Now you've created your fleet, let's take a look at saving and opening fleet files as well as editing code plugs. To save a fleet file, click File, Save Fleet As and your destination folder. We'll use the default here. Enter the fleet name. and click save. Once it's saved you get a confirmation message here, you can just close that. To edit a radio's code plug, just double click on it and the code plug will open. So let's make some changes to Radio 50's code plug. If we go into the channel preset data, double click here to add a channel, uh, we'll add uh, channel 1. Now this time instead of calling group 1, we're going to set up an individual call to user 1 but we'll leave the receive group the same. Now, if we want to share this setting with a number of other radios in the fleet, we can do so by clicking on the share zone button and selecting the radios we want to apply the change to. What we're going to do here is just apply the change to the DX485 display radios, leaving the DX482s alone. We could have selected all, but as I say, we just want to apply this to the DX485 display radios. So click Clone Zone, and that's now been applied to all of the DX485s. So if we double click on one of them, and have a look at the channel preset data, the channel's been added. If we look at one of the DX482s and do the same, we can see that the channel preset hasn't been added to those radios. Please see our other videos and should you require any further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact Entel via web chat, email or telephone. Thank you.